So this morning, um, here in Georgia, middle Georgia to be exact, um, it was about 40 degrees. And I went and dropped my kids off. And um, usually right after I drop off my kids, I go ahead and go to a nearby track, go ahead and get some exercise in. Today, my leg day, usually I do um, 100 lunges and 50 pause squats like what you see me doing here. And um, and then some, you know, some ab work, and sometimes I hit a couple other things. Like, see, I'm doing my knee lifts here for my abs. But anyhow, I kind of had a, a moment for a bit where I was like, no, I don't know, maybe I just run my errands. I'll just exercise some other time. And I think really it was more so because it was kind of cold outside. But then I was like, no, nah, no, nah, man, let's let's go, let's go, let's go. I know that cold is not gonna kill me, you know, and from experience, I also know that even though the wind was blowing, all that kind of stuff, that when you move your body like that, when you exercise, you generate a lot of your own heat. And so I was gonna be all right eventually, and I could endure the cold while my body did what, did what it does best and warm itself up and all that kind of stuff. So I went ahead and went out there. So I do have on like, I did have on like my um my some some exercise pants, some compression long tights underneath which really ain't worth nothing. They're like really thin. So they're not like really winter compression gear. But oh well, so the wind is kind of like it's just like if you just if your legs just there. And so then I had on this t-shirt and um the little cap you see me with when I'm doing my squats here. And um and a pullover again the wind was getting all up under those and especially when i would walk on a certain part of the track man it was cold um but anyhow like i said i already know from experience there have been other times when it was cold and i was out there and i was freezing my behind off but i just did it and you warm up and eventually you forget about the, the cold you forget about the wind believe it or not so the reason why I'm recording this video here is because I really want to encourage you to develop some mental toughness. Now, what I'm not talking about is just being like calloused and um, even not using wisdom. You know, like there are, you know, like, for example, I don't know, um, you know, there I'll just say without trying to give an example there are ways you can be ridiculous with the whole mental toughness aspect especially in this day and age but what i'm saying is what we have to understand is there's a lot of things that your body is actually able and capable of doing that we never explore for example like i said your body can warm itself up in particular if you're exercising while you're working out outside now you're going to be cold at first and that's okay as well because even then, your body will shiver. And as long as it's not like, you know, sub-zero temperatures and stuff like that, where it actually really is dangerous for you to be outside, 40 degrees, 30 degrees, you can do that. And eventually, even if you kind of bundle up a little bit, you're going to want, you're going to feel like, I need to take some layers off, you know. And so keep that in mind. Your body is more capable than you allow it to be. However, the other thing to keep in mind is, our bodies are not um, because we we are so conditioned by convenience in our society. Our bodies become soft. They become less efficient. They become less able to do the things they would normally be able to do. So you do have to kind of like build back up into it, build back into it physically as well as mentally as well. As well as mentally as well. You you hear what I'm saying? But my point is, you are more capable than you realize. A little bit of cold is not going to hurt you. And as a matter of fact, what it's going to do is you're going to start to gain resiliency. You're going to start to become more resilient because, you know, I can take this. I can actually deal with this and I will be fine. Um, that's the issue with. That's the issue with our convenience, man. And please hear me because, you know, the moment 
the moment that it gets real cold outside, then we like, oh, mm -mm, I can't do that. But you got to understand when you were born into this world, your body was equipped standard, standard um, package equipped with survival type stuff in it, like equipped with stuff to help you to stay warm in the cold. And you just have like a whole just generator in there. It's like your body naturally generates its own heat. Your body has mechanisms for recovering from exercise, um, you know, in your muscles, in your heart and lungs. Your body is equipped with that. But you make yourself, you actually hurt yourself when you don't use those mechanisms. Because like they say, when you don't use it, you lose it. You, you steadily lose that ability to cope with different type of challenges. And I'm talking about mainly physically. But it ha it's really mentally and emotionally as well. Um, but if you would just kind of like hear me, and I know it might be kind of hard depending on, on your experience, but if you would just kind of hear me and just entertain the idea that just for this example, you can exercise outside and let your body naturally warm itself up and actually get additional health benefit from that aside from the exercise, then you're going to be able to unlock a, unlock a different area of health. Okay. So here, when I was working out, this is like my second workout of the day. Um, as I've said in other videos, I usually will do multiple workouts in a day because I don't really like to do an hour or two at a time. And so I'll do a workout in the morning. That's probably about a half hour and maybe a couple more exercise sessions that might be like 15 20 minutes on in the day because my whole thing is i have to get a certain amount of reps in and so i get in my reps and as ha however many workouts i can like at certain times of the day whenever i can take a break from my work so anyhow build mental toughness i'm not saying to be ridiculous but what i'm saying is your body is equipped to withstand a whole lot more than you allow it to withstand Please do your research and you'll you'll understand what I'm talking about. Okay. Hopefully this helps. <laughs>